Hello LSX Hunters. Today we are going to go over something that a lot of guys kind of been asking me about but haven't actually like put the effort into to actually do. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about kind of what we do to make our money to pay for the toys, right? Well the simplest solution that we have is to sell parts. So there are a lot of times when you'll buy parts and they just don't work out for you, right? So you're like, ah oh, man, well at least I have a camshaft. At least I have a set of heads. Cool, that's fine, but you could be monetizing that and you could be liquidating that to actually get the things that you want. I mean, take some of these engines for instance. What you could do is tear this engine down, refurb a bunch of the parts, and get more money for the parts than you can for the refurb engine by itself sometimes. You know, and it depends on whether you're working on Mopar, Chevy, you know, uh, Pontiac, Ford, whatever you've got. Every brand is different, mind you, because like small block Chevy, I could tear that small block Chevy down and tear it apart and it's worth 20 bucks. That Pontiac I tear it down and it's probably worth a few grand. You know, so that's the difference is understanding what is worth what. But I bring this up because I want to mention something to you guys. Everything that we have is for sale. I am one of those people that is a firm believer in everything has a price because it, it does. I mean, whether you want to say it does or it doesn't, it does. Um, even if you have no intention of selling your car and you throw it at $100,000 and it's worth five, that's still a price, mind you. So we are gonna sell a block at some point today. Uh, so I just wanna touch base with you guys and let you guys know kind of what we do to make our money for this kind of stuff. So we're gonna go over a few things that you need to look out for when looking at parts to maybe try to make a quick buck. So you're looking for Pontiac parts, there are a few things that you really wanna look for. The biggest thing is gonna be big valve heads. Um, you know, things like the 16, the Ram Air 3 heads, the Ram Air 4 heads are worth an absolute crap ton. Um, but they're worth almost nothing in unrestored condition because it's such an expensive proposition to do. So if you find yourself a good set or can rebuild your own set of heads, dude, 16 heads are awesome. Um, but they're also going to be like the best performance heads. So you're probably going to want to keep that, if I'm honest. Um, you know, but you've got options in the Pontiac lineup. A lot of guys will reuse cams. A lot of guys will reuse lifters. Yeah, I mean, I do, but I'm sketchy. A lot of guys will reuse a lot of parts off these engines, like timing cover, the uh, oil filter housing, the pulleys are worth an absolute crap ton if you do it right. I mean, the harmonic balancer, there's a bunch of little pieces here and there that are worth a lot on these Pontiac engines. But look, look at this TPI and I'll talk to you guys about some things with that. Because this is a, a market that nobody really talks about that actually is worth a lot if you're willing to take the time to do it. So you'll notice on my TPI, that it has stock runners. And then you'll notice that I have aftermarket runners set aside. Now, this might not be obvious to the standard person, but if you're going through a junkyard, look at every TPI car you can find. The reason is you might spot SLP runners. Um, I've ran into this a couple times where I'll, I'll spot SLP runners or I'll spot uh, Siamese ASM runners in the junkyard. You can buy those at a junkyard for about five or $10, okay? What you're gonna do then is clean them up and list them for 500. That's a lot of profit to be made just for walking through a junkyard. You know, mind you, it's not something you find every day. It's not something you find every month. But things like that add up because for that $450 profit, well, either I've got a quick TPI or I've got a lot of money to throw into a used short block. I've got the ability to buy new parts with old part money. That's awesome. That's what hot rodding to me and the LSX Hunter team is all about, is hot rodding in the classic, most finest way possible. But if you guys are interested in how I make my money this way, if you guys are interested in what parts to keep an eye out for, comment down below and let me know. I actually prefer doing videos like this where I get time to sit down and talk with you guys. So I really love being able to conversate between us. Um, just a couple of the quick things that you could do when you're walking around a junkyard to actually make a lot of money really quickly. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe. Have a good one, and I will see you on the road.